Hi, we compared a variety of free text response capture methods in our virtual scenarios. What's the point? Well, most cases tend to use selected responses where you just pick from a list. But the problem that creates is that of queuing, which uh, McCarthy pointed out way back in 96, 1966, can increase a candidate's uh, uh, marks by up to 25%. You do not want to uh, always tell them uh, what it is that you're looking for. Of course, there's downsides to constructed responses that just capturing free text uh, is not the issue. It's uh, what you're gonna do with the responses and that can result in a lot of hard manual labor. It can be costly, effortful, and you have variability in how uh, examiners and teachers assess the responses. Uh, it can also be very expensive to do well if you're trying to automate it. Uh, the Maryland project was a very interesting example of this, where they developed a very, very capable natural language uh, virtual scenario, but it cost a huge amount and took a lot of time. So most cases tend to avoid constructed responses, which loses their, uh, they have uh, lots of power, but they are expensive, and then you have uh, lots of downsides. Our TLDR summary is there. You can peruse that at your leisure. Um, briefly, uh, we tried keyword matching, but uh, that gets foiled by synonyms, abbreviations, etc. cetera. Uh, field validation turned out to be simple, but not very useful. Uh, we did have rules in OLAB 3, which were quite powerful, but again, could be quite complex to, uh, to create. Uh, regular expression matching, which would be a comp size student's nightmare, uh, can have very odd syntax, et cetera. So I uh, didn't find that useful. We did try H5P widgets, which are a very popular way of uh, adding two cases and presentations, but again, very difficult to score um, or evaluate the responses. So we've uh, used two ways to tackle this problem. The first that we came up with a few years ago was uh, Turk talk or uh, basically a mechanical Turk where a human is pretending to be uh, a computer and uh, using human facilities to, to uh, capture uh, to interpret the responses in a live scenario. Uh, that is scalable to some extent, but it can also have logistical challenges. So our most recent efforts uh, that are called DFLOW is combining uh, TTOC along with uh, um, algorithms which uh, from a um, cognitive computing platform which allow us to handle these responses much more efficiently. If you're interested in hearing more about this, then please contact us at the email address below.